Well, hello, and welcome to this exercise on absolute values, in which we sketch uh, a graph of an absolute value, and, and also so to solve the equation of an absolute value. Now, this exercise comes from an IGCSE uh, examination question. And uh, it says here, um, sketch the graph of y is equal to absolute value of 3 plus 5x, showing the coordinates of the points where the graph meets the coordinate axis. And now by coordinate axis, that means where the graph touches the both the x and the y axis. So to do this, I'm going to plot two straight line graphs now. Look at the equation, look at the, the, the equation of y is equal to absolute value 3 plus 5x. Right, I'm going to plot this graph of y is equal to 3 plus 5x. And, the gra and this graph of y is equal to minus brackets open 3 plus 5x bracket close. Now, we want to find out where this graph or where both graphs touch the uh, x axis. And where that happens, the y value is 0. So if y value is 0, we then replace y by 0, in which case our equation then becomes 3 plus 5x is equal to 0. If we then subtract 3 from both sides, we end up with 5x is equal to minus 3. And if we then divide both sides by 5, we end up with x is equal to minus 3 over 5. And of course, we can write minus 3 over 5 as minus 0 0.6. Now, similarly, for the second equation, when we remove our brackets, we end up with minus 3 minus 5x is equal to 0. And by manipulation, as it is in the first case, x is equal to minus 3 over 5. Okay. So now for the first graph, for the first straight line graph, we've got x values greater than or equal to minus 3, 3 over 5. And for the second value, sorry, for the second graph, we've got x values greater than or equal to minus 3 over 5. Now, not forgetting that in this case here, the, all our y values will be greater than or equal to 0. So it does not go below the x axis here. Now, we need to find out where this graph touches the, uh, or cuts the y axis. Now, where cos the y axis, x is 0. So if y is equal to 3 plus 5 times 0, which gives us y is equal to 3. So now, this is our graph here. Now, the first graph, the graph of y is equal to 3 plus 5x in this one here. And note here that it touches the x axis at a point minus 0 0.6. Similarly, for the graph of minus 3 minus 5x, we have this one here, the second graph. And again, it touches the x-axis at the point uh, minus 0 0.6, or if you like, minus 3 over 5. Okay? So now, we can now write the coordinates as of the graph of y is equal to 3 into gra graph of y is equal to absolute value 3 plus 5x as uh, minus 0 over 5, 0, and 0 minus 3, as we got in this graph here. Right, for the second question, he says solve the equation 3 plus 5x 3 plus 5x is equal to 0. So it's equal to 2. Now we can solve this by two methods, by calculation and by graphical method. Now firstly by calculation, I'm going to look at the equation for 3 plus 5x is equal to 2. If we then subtract 3 from both sides, we end up with 5x is equal to minus 1. And if we then divide both sides by 5, we end up with x equal to 1 over minus 1 over 5. And minus 1 over 5 is the same as minus 0 0.2. Now for the second equation, we can do the equation of minus 3 minus into brackets open 3 plus 5x brackets close equal to 2. When we remove the brackets, we end up with minus 3 minus 5x is equal to 2. If we then add 5x to both sides and subtract 2 from both sides, we end up with minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 5x. 
minus 3 minus 2 is 5 so uh, if you divide both sides by 5 we end up with x equal to minus 1 so we've got two values uh, minus 1 over 5 and minus 1 so for each x for, for each y value we have two x values there now to confirm that we can do that graphically we're going to plot the graph of y is equal to 2 which is going to be a horizontal graph we're going to find out where this graph cuts the two lines that give us a graph of y is equal to 3 plus 5x there so when we do that we end up with minus 0 0.2 and minus 1 here because this graph of y is equal to 2 because the first line at this point here where the x value there is minus 0 0.2 Moving on, the x value here is minus 1. Now, you've got to be very careful when you do it graphically. You've got to be very sure that your graph is tip tops, absolute no mistakes at all. So that's the answer. And the answer is minus 0 0.2 and minus 1. Now, I hope all that made some sense. Please, please subscribe and 